Hello everyone, this is Werner. Uh, just another quick little tutorial on how to use the copy to points and in this case how to randomize various objects that you are copying onto those points. Um, this is something or a question I keep seeing on forums and beginners asking and also complaining about how difficult it looks when you start to use um, some of the older methods. Um, some of those older methods have uh, quite a lot of control but if you need something quick and nasty this is a very quick way so if you consider something like um, for each loops uh, that gives you a lot of control but um, yeah let's just quickly have a look at something like this we are going to copy a box a torus and a tube onto a sphere full of points. I just scattered a couple of points onto that sphere. All right, so let's just get go back to the beginning. So the first thing we need to do is basically um, we need the tool we're going to use or the node we're going to use is called the attribute from pieces there it is so the attribute from pieces um, will basically create from all your your library of objects it will create an attribute per piece and if if you're going to use this method then logically your objects needs to have that attribute applied to it so let's just quickly grab all of these and all clicking to get a merge node and use a assemble sop to create a piece attribute per object so here we're just going to call it piece um, and if you look in there they're all sitting dead center world space so that's all we need but now we have a piece attribute three unique piece attributes per object one per object rather all right so the way we put this together is let's give it a little bit more room here is we have our sc scattered points and that's your point cloud so basically we're just going to connect that and on the right input you get a geometry library which in this case is our library there library of objects um, so what we need to do here is basically just that piece attribute that's what we want to type in there uh, again keep it simple i'm just calling it piece now we can use our copy to points and just like always your object goes into the left input input and your point cloud to the right one so what we get is let me just quickly grab a transform to scale down these objects oops um, just so it's a little bit more clear I'm gonna go somewhere there so now you can see I'm copying but I'm copying all of them because I have to specify on the copy to points I have to specify um, that I want to use a piece attribute that we generated earlier so if I rename that tick it on and rename it to piece I instantly get all three objects the cone the torus and the cube or box uh, the attributes from pieces do give you a shuffle mode with a seed value and even an offset so this is just a very quick method uh, oh and we can of course just go and rotate that 90 degrees and then everything kind of sits um, on the surface very quick method if you need any form of control over that don't use the scatter but rather use a scatter align and this way if you use a scatter align you will have access to to random rotations as well based on the normal so you have a minimum and maximum angle that you can set then so um, in any case this is not about the scatter align but rather um, to show you a quick method to get different objects 
copy two points randomly. Thank you very much for listening. I hope it helps someone out there. Um, it's become a lot easier um, lately with, with using this attribute from pieces rather than using for each or you know some of the older methods. Anyway, enjoy your day and hope to see you soon. Bye.